Now we've just written an article about uh, the conky uh, clock here. So it's WO from Willem, Willem or Wim, and it's um, the one at the bottom. So if you click here, it's going to be alphabetically, and it's WO, so it's those two, and we've changed only this one. So this tutorial is about, let's take a look at that one, and what can we change, where's the code, and so on. Again, we should take a look at the Thunar, at the Conky folder, and at this one. So System Lua is the one we're looking at now. So this, these elements here, let's open them up with Atom, or, uh, with Pigments as packages. Quickly have a look at the packages we have installed. So um, we have highlight selected, minimap, uh, no, 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 no. The install stuff is, 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 this is where you go look for it. So if you don't have pigments installed, type it in here. And you get this little cloud and you click on it and then you'll see what's installed. And that's in here, I guess. And so I've installed quite a bit. Pigments, Minimap, Highlight Selected, Find Your Place, Minimap, Highlight Select. So any of these packages are okay. So pigments in Minimap are the ones you need. Right, that's that. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. So we start with a conky, we load a conky, and what do we see? There is nothing in between these brackets. So everything is coming from the Lua. Nothing is actually a conky. It's um, a mixture of the conky configuration and the Lua programming language. So everything is coming from these three lines. So we need to look at the settings Lua, the load all, and then it's going to do a lot of stuff. So the settings Lua is going to show you that there are variables, and this variable is the one for your interface. So your network card can be find, found with ifconfig. We've shown that in another tutorial in the same article. So we, you can do that again. So copy paste, copy paste, see that everything is the same because we want to know the wireless network card instead of, for instance, this Ethernet card. So the setting is going to be red. And what else? It's going to load all the Lua and it's going to check all the scripts in here in this script folder. Everything is going to be uh, found or loaded and we require four elements, the box, the graphs, text, and the bars. And it's going to load everything. These functions will be read from these files. So if we make it a bit smaller, sometimes tricky, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. I want to see this. So. It's going to load a lot of stuff. Let's uh, take a look at the box, for instance, and then you start reading, reading, reading. So I haven't read any of those. It's up to you to read. I don't know everything, and I'm not sure. I will not know everything. So the only thing I provide is the knowledge for you to do so. Yeah. So we, the only thing you need to do is say, oh, and look what it says here, parameters end here, and parameters begin here. So maybe maybe the box that is in here, the black box. We're not talking about the bottom one, we're talking about the top one, which is a system. We can take a look and say, mm, maybe let's have a look. What if I changed in another tutorial, I changed this one to one. So let's change something else to one and see what happens. So it's about the box, that's for sure. Okay. What did we change? So one param parameter at a time, and then you'll figure out what changed. Uh -huh. So it's a sort of gradient, and the gradient is here now in the middle. And we have a color in here, so we can change this gradient color if you want to. And the linear gradient is, that's the, the number and the figures. We have to figure out what these uh, elements mean. We can read, yes we can by reading up here you can check out and try to understand what it means uh, radial gradient and so on and so on but it's up to you to figure it out don't have the answers don't i will not give the answers it's just a matter of time 
it needs time to for you to say okay i'm gonna change this and that element and that element and what changes if you do that that's the only thing you need to do is change uh, elements and see what happens i'm gonna put it back to what it was let's wait for it so everything is the same okay it's indeed not very clear but there is a difference between this black and that black so yeah check then the graphs what is a graph there are a lot of colors in here background color and so on what's here there is this green we have green in our system here what if what if and then that's how you change it what if i changed colors but first some overview here we have the cpu this is the cpu down speed down speed i guess it's this one this is down this is up so this must be this one and up speed and that's it so we have one two three elements one sorry one that's this one probably yeah i guess i guess so these are the graphs one two three okay that means that the bars let's have a look see if we're correct the bars are this one cpu one memory percentage two used three home used okay yeah so we're correct in assuming that's the way we don't have wireless on this system here but indeed there is a code for you to use and um, again again i'm not going to do a lot a uh, lot of details it's just a matter of time spend some time in it change the colors so this um, border color these these elements here the green that's in here a darker green a lighter green and indeed it's true there's a darker green down there and a top light green and a peak when it's red a peak when it's red so change the colors around and see what happens and that's my message to you figure it out yourselves yeah just figure it out yourselves doesn't does sound a little bit pejorative is the word negative it's not meant to be it's uh, you need to to spend some time into the coding and find your elements so if it says Linux and then a version it's actually saying take this one if existing LSB release then you go and do this so if something gets broken what do you do you say this is actually a command so control C Ctrl Alt T, Ctrl Shift V, Enter. So that's what this thing does. Uh, it might not do the same thing on your system, uh, depending on uh, hardware and software and all that. So this, of course, probably will work because of, of the, the if existing. So if this program exists, give me that uh, output and cut the fields through or from it so that that's probably gonna work but sometimes things stay blank say and they are broken so that's what you have to figure out then what code is in here what will go what code will work on my system if you don't like the fonts you can change the font the font size you can change it this is a horizontal align you see I don't know is it center I don't think so because it's not centered so we have to figure out what this is and look for it somewhere up here in the code whether or not it's explained here and see seems to be centered but although it's centered it does not really appear to be centered so well figure it out so the kernel the kernel is there yeah next is the uptime we have the uptime so this is what the normal conky looks uh, code looks like so we're going to conky parse elements from the conky so the things that are normally in a conky rc are now inside a lua and inside this 
a new variable which is text and I'm going to parse anything that's in the comp the language or the commands from comp are parsed the color and the colors are explained here color one color two you make color four just copy paste color four a new color and just rename it to color four and you have something new here we have again these um, applications or the, these commands from terminal and this is going to work maybe on my system but maybe not on your system so you have to change it don't be mad in the maker of the conky it can't know everything on all the hardware you just have to dig in and see what code works on your system so memory we're, we're there here somewhere i think i think already and then used memory so we are the orange color here and we say if we say color one we get another color that's i think you got already so all these things are actually what a conky looks like but all used with conky parts available updates were at the bottom so the yellow one and yellow is it seems color three there are some things that get a real line again I see but that doesn't matter Lua doesn't care it just works and here you have it aligned and then we have the bars and the bars were these little things here you could try to change one of those CPU foreground color is green if you say nah I have this great wallpaper and it's gonna be all red Eric I'm gonna make it like that it's gonna be awesome all red just say to reload the thing and I will know what the foreground color is the foreground color is indeed this red thing so mid color alarm color smooth through all these things you have to select it one by one save and reload the con key let's do that like so save it's green again reload the con key just click OK and it's going to be reloaded. And there you go. We're back to where we were. And again, you have to look for all the settings and background colors and foreground colors and the LED colors. So it's up to you to change to the colors you like. All right, that concludes uh, the tutorial. Uh, we have done the, the graphs and the text and the bars. Did we do the box? Yeah, I think so too. So the thing that's around here, um, do check it out. Lua is interesting. If you want to know more information about Lua, I have a link to the Lua website, programming language website. And if you want to have an, a nice conkey to learn from, uh, the Aureola Octopi is a great one and I've learned my uh, Lua there copy paste change code edit Dropbox uh, um, and Spotify in this Octopi and um, well yeah have fun figuring out everything every little detail every variable but um, it's up to you to figure it out I don't know everything I just know where to change some variables and that's it that's all you need to do as well, as well, so change one variable, reload, and check out what changed, and voila, that's all you need to do. Cheers!